Well, <laughs> I was born in Germany and uh, in East uh, in what, uh, East Germany, we had a farm. Uh, that was in our family for since 1804, and when the Russian came, we lasted all. So I, I came to West Germany, and there in in 1900 and about 46, the Mennonite Board of Colonization found us because I'm a Mennonite, and there. Uh, asked us if we wanted to go to the States or to Canada. And uh, because we had lost everything, so my wife and I decided uh, as the first possible way uh, to go into Canada. And the only way in 52 we could uh, immigrate was if we had a sponsor, because we didn't have any money, and uh, the Mennonite board had uh, uh, a contract with the Canadian Pacific, uh, and they had one one freighter, is the Beaver Beaver Bray. They would bring corn and to to, uh, to Europe, and on the way home, they would put uh, put up bunks and uh, took us took the immigrants over back to uh, Canada. So we landed in 19, uh, on the 29th of uh, June in Quebec City. And uh, my sponsor, I was very, very fortunate that my sponsor lived in Niagara on the Lake. His name was Jake uh, uh, Rempel and he had a food farm on Lakeshore Road. He picked us up on, from the railroad station on the 1st of July, and on the 2nd I started to work. We, uh, he had built for us a, a little shed, uh, yeah, shed, tw uh, twelve. No, 24 by 24, uh, just uh, two by fours and tent is on the outside on uh, cedar posts. And a big uh, Franklin stove that was, was our kitchen and a little electric uh, plate. Our washroom was outside a bench and a pail under the peach tree, and there was a brand new outhouse. We, after going through the war and the hungry years in Germany, I thought we were landed in paradise. It was, uh, to us, it was beautiful. <laughs>